Hello everyone, it's me once again. So um, I told myself I shouldn't make any more videos related to moss, but unfortunately it's been majorly delayed and um, I'm a bit frustrated about it. But while I'm actually, actually waiting for those goods to come along that I mentioned on my previous videos, uh, a company called UV Moss, one of the representatives noticed one of my video uh, related to leaf mask about this controversy going on uh, they thought that I, I would be a good influencer to highlight their product as well but if you look at their Kickstarter project they already reached um, two million US dollars for their goal so they've done really well for themselves um, but I think they have this seven days to go so they want to kick a bit of a boost their um, campaign so I'm really honored that they want to use me as a influencer to pass on the information anyway so um the thing about this uv mask is there's a bit of a tech going on in this one unlike the other masks that we've seen um, it's actually um, to summarize the email that i got from the representative is that uv mask is the next generation U reusable mask with the most powerful uv hyphen c sterilization technology on the market the key component of UV mask is the uh, real-time dual sterilization mechanism. So this is something we haven't seen. So it has a passive filtration and the patent pending. So it's not approved yet, but a patent pending active sterile um, vortex UVC sterilization. So I'm going to go to get into that in more details. But um, in combination, they so um, they raised uh, the sterilization purification efficiency level of UV mask to 99.99%, which is enough to eliminate any pollutant, bacteria, virus, or allergen, uh, 100 times smaller than the grain of flour. Okay, fair enough. 10 times faster than you breathe. So um, basically, we. Um, what we have to be careful with the word reusable which i made a mistake in the past is that yes the overall product you can reuse while as most of the masks that most people wear is just one off and you throw it in a bin you still need to buy the the um, filters for this campaign you get 10 filters that is believed to last up to 500 hours and uh, the 10 filters is about 12 dollars well, as you can see from the image, it's quite bulky, right? Um, so it sticks out more than the normal conventional mask, but there is a reason behind it because if you look at this diagram that I'm going to highlight here, is that it has a dual filtration system. So this filter that I just talked about will be the first filtration that the air will pass through the grill, not from the front, but, but the sideways, just like fish, because the um, what I understand about this pollen and all these dust it's more effective that you actually have the air coming in on the sideways than the front ways, right? So basically, the air will come through the grill on the sideways and then pass through uh, the filter that you need to get 10 of them uh, for 500 hours. And then it will go through this almost like a uh, snail circle, circular kind of um, UVC filter. That's the way how this mask works. And this UVC filtration will be powered by a uh, lithium battery on the both side of it, okay? So what I'm actually quite impressed with is that this unique design of UVC uh, vortex filtration that is apparently designed in USA uh, made in Japan, but it's still the patent is pending. So I don't really know what that means Does that mean that it's not really proven to be uh, used for or not? I mean, but still it has two uh, filtration system and apparently what they're proudly saying is that it's for it's good for travelers daily commuters taxi hairdressers and even industrial workers as well because industrial workers need a very professional um, mask when they do paint jobs or any um, sanding and etc so if you scroll down they're also proudly saying that this will be a anti-foggy glass uh, mask because a lot of uh, masks um, i'm sure if you wear it if you wear glasses it could actually create this foggy effect so apparently they're saying that it's um this will not happen with their mask which is quite interesting i would like to try it out um, it comes with size of X and S so the size of X is more for adults and S for kids and I think X is for those people who have 
higher position nodes. Um, so I can show you the diagram of how the anatomy of the actual product where um, you can see number one outer protective hard shell as I said early on you can see the grill slight opening on the sideways and then number two will be the high efficiency air filters that need to get 10 of them for 500 hours and then there's the inner shell that pass it on next to the um, vortex uh, sterile vortex UVC and this will be powered by if you look at the four five and six so five is basically the um, <clears throat> It's apparently about uh, 1,800 milliamp hour battery on both sides that will that is known to last for about eight hours. And I actually looked on the um, battery itself. It says Leon PO. So what that actually stands for is like lithium polymer um, battery. So there's lithium ion batteries that we commonly use for for mobile phones, but um, lithium polymer has um, pros and cons and this actually have a lower chance of leaking which is for healthy uh, health issues and also it's more robust and flexible but it in the con side is a shorter lifespan and stores less power and it costs more to manufacture so it, I think it's a sensible move to have the uh, lithium polymer um, battery on it and then there's a skin soft and air tightening silicone pad and, and strap and etc. So they already have the certificate uh, that I, I have been passed on by the representative for the uh, filter and the silicone but I think they are still waiting for the patent or the certificate uh, for the UVC Vortex um, filter as well. So this mask um, for Kickstarter is 99 US dollars just under uh, 100 US dollars and one thing that you have to be careful with these word reusable is the fact that it comes with filter the filter is not reusable um, in this case unfortunately which, which is not that expensive i mean the filter for 10 of them which is worth of use of 500 hours is only 12 dollars indeed but this ongoing maintenance cost uh, we like to put it is not really a pleasant thing because I, i'm sure most people thought, okay, if I just pay 100 US dollars, that's it. But there's a small ongoing cost to use this product after you use it for 500 hours. So always be careful when a company says that this mask is reusable, first check out the filters, whether they are reusable or not, in this case, which isn't. But anyhow, they have managed to reach their goal of 2 million. Um, so the standard colors that you could get was um, jet white, jet black, and titanium gray, but now since it's reached this goal of 2 million, you could get blue, red, and cool colors. So that's, that's quite in interesting news, um, exciting news. But I think that's pretty much it. But I think the, I haven't seen as much as technology advanced uh, mask like this one, the, um, the UV mask yourself, and they have a really, they seem to have a really solid, diverse team, which is really appealing as well. I actually asked uh, one of the, well, the representatives who contacted me whether I could actually get a free sample. Um, he actually said that he'll do his best to uh, get this sent out to me. So um, we'll see how it goes. So as soon as I get it, I will um, basically uh, let you guys know how good this product is but then again I haven't got any laboratories or anything to try out whether how effective it is but I think I'm gonna look into the comfort level so let's see how it goes but hopefully we'll also get this product pretty soon anyway so thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP tech any queries please do comment below and please subscribe all the best bye bye